Hi everyone, it's Catherine here, and this is for anyone who missed our Tuesday class or who just wants to catch up and do it again. This week we told a story using pictures, using drawings, and different expressions. So in order to do that, you need to have answered your 13 questions about your imaginary character. And I'd like you to choose two positive answers. Um, we chose what makes them happy is playing football with their friends and their pet, their pet snake called Fred. And I'd like you to choose two negative answers. So for instance, we chose flying makes them scared and raining would make their, would make their day terrible. So once you've chosen that and you've chosen the initial mood for your character, whether they're grumpy, happy, etc., you'll be ready to get on with the rest of the exercise. So here we have our grumpy character. Uh, the next thing we found out is that our character Seamus really likes playing football. So we drew a football, cut it out, and placed it next to our grumpy Seamus. We know that Seamus likes playing football, so whenever he plays football, he starts to feel happy. So we cut out, uh, we drew a happy face, and we cut that out. Um, well, now we started to think about what things Seamus doesn't like, and we know that he is scared of flying. So we drew a plane. And we thought about how Seamus would feel if he was getting on a plane, and we decided he would feel scared. So we looked back at our sketchbooks and we found a scared face, and we copied that out and cut it out. And there's no football now because he's fine and he's scared. Uh, now, because he's on the plane and he's scared, we wanted to think of something that would make him happy. And from doing our questionnaire, we know that Seamus has a pet snake called Fred. So we thought if Seamus had his pet snake, so we drew a snake, then that might cheer him up. It might make him feel a little bit better on the airplane. So we decided to draw a face where Seamus looked a little bit worried, but also a little bit happy. We went back to our sketchbooks and we found a face that we thought looked like that and we copied it out on a piece of paper and cut it out and used it in our story. Um, we also know that Seamus, when he's bored, that he moans. We know this from filling out our questionnaire. So we drew a bored, moany looking face. We went back to our sketchbooks and found a moany looking face. And we drew that. Um, we also know from filling out our questionnaire that Seamus's terrible day would be if it was raining and he couldn't go outside. So we drew some rain to make it look like uh, it was raining on Seamus and that was why he felt sad. Um, we also know that the one from our questionnaire that the thing Seamus says all the time is what? So we drew a question mark in a speech bubble so that Seamus could say what? And then we thought we'd have some fun with it and we can move each of these aspects around. We decided that maybe Seamus was sad to start with, so we had a sad face. But that Seamus was going to go on holiday to cheer him up. So we used our plane. And that made Seamus feel happier. But then when the plane landed and he got out of the plane, it was raining. So that made him feel sad or angry. And as Adam said, when he got off the plane and he saw the rain, he said, what? So that's what we did today. Um, if you fill out your questionnaire, um, you can use the answers to draw different things, different events that they like doing, different things that they like to do or that they don't like to do. And you can draw the expressions that they have while they're doing these things. And you can use them all together to make a little story. And it's just like a computer game where you lay out what happens and in what order. Hope you have fun with that. We'll see you next week. Bye.